Hello everyone, uh, my name is Ganesh and I'm from Team Techtopia. So today we'll be going through uh, the walkthrough of Milestone Tree for Fanfar. Without further ado, let's begin. This is the landing page of the app. So when you, log, when you first uh, open the app, you'll be able to see, uh, open the website, sorry. You'll be able to see two buttons which are create an account and sign to your account. So let's say if you're a new user, then you click on create an account. Then you can enter in your info. Let's say if you don't complete your info and then you sign up, right? Then you will see a lot of error messages. This is to prevent uh, people from getting stuck to the register page in case they keyed in wrong info. So for the email address, it needs to be like a proper email address format. And then for the password, it needs to be longer than eight characters. And the control password is the same as the password in the fourth field. So let's just key in our info. Oh yeah, so when I click on sign up, I'll be brought to my homepage. Okay. Let's say if I want to log in again using those credentials, I click on sign to your account. Yeah. Then I can log in using what I used to register. So yeah, so now I'll be brought to my homepage where I can see a few buttons. Okay, uh, another feature of the sign-in option is that, let's say if you enter a wrong address, right? It wouldn't really allow you to log in because you see your error dialog box because the account does not exist in our database. So yeah, in that case, you need to enter in your correct address. Yes, yeah, so now you will log into my homepage. So as you can see in the homepage, you can see three buttons, which are my groups, my payments, and logout. So let's check out your groups page. So once you you can see you're in your group page, group page, you can see a few options. Uh, first is create a group, second is join a group, and third is return to home screen. So let's say if I want to create a group. Um, let's say the group I want to create is um, sports. Click on create my group. Then you will see your group name here. Um, but let's say you try to create a group that already exists, right, in our database. And then you see this error, which, which will prompt you to choose another name. Of course, you need unique group names for you know, the individuality of the groups to work. So yeah. I click on cancel and then, okay, go back to the previous page. Now, let's say you want to join a group instead that my friend has given me the name of, and I can type in the name of that group. And I will join the group. And it is shown in your groups page here. But let's say if you attempt to join a group that does not exist, right? Then you see the error message, which will say that the group does not exist. And you have to choose the name that from your friend that already exists. Yeah. So cancel that can go back to the previous page. And um, yeah, so these are the two groups that we are in for now. So let's go into the group functionality. So now I'm in sports, right? Um, so I can click on chat to access the chat feature of the page. So, so let's say, so yeah, so this is a chat feature of the page. So um, yeah. So, so the main feature, so the main thing is here on the top you can see is that create a topic, right? So um, in Tantor, you'll be able to like select topics for you to discuss at that point in time so that your chats are more focused and you can concentrate on what you're talking about without getting distracted. And anyone in the group can change the set topic at any point in time and it's instantaneous. So any, everyone will be affected on it like instantaneously. Yeah, yeah it's in real time. Let's say if I want to talk, talk about a new group, um, let's say I want to set talk about practice. Yeah, if I change topic, then the topic will be changed for everyone in the group in real time. And I can type in a message as follows, say um, Okay, so yeah, as you can see here, then the message will be appeared. Message will be seen on the, the text screen. 
And uh, yeah, as you can see, there are two messages for now. And on the right hand side, you can see your email address and the timestamp that the message was sent. sent at. So yeah, the chat feature is in real time. So the chat experience will be seamless. But now let's go back to the group page and look at the calendar feature. So looking at the calendar, I'll be able to view, view the current month as that detects what date the current date is and then it shows you the month view of that month. So yeah, so if I want to click on adding a new event and I can just type in the fields as follows. Now you need to ensure that the format is as what is stated in the index so that here we record the call here. So now I can summon my event and I'll be able to see that event here as follows. You can add in multiple events if you want to. Yeah. Say if I just add in another date. So yeah, you can see that they'll be reflected and they'll be of different colors. Yeah. Even if you try to view the candle again, it'll be of different colors each time. So that easy for easier for you to differentiate between and the different. Yeah, let's go back to my groups and you're already in a group called Cal gardening, right? So let's see how that group is right now. So yeah, so let's check the chat. This is the current chat that the group is in. Let's say you want to add in more stuff. Uh, this this was sent by B and B dot com. So let's can add in new stuff. So yeah, as you can see, your new info is reflected here. Of course, it's under your account. So yeah. The thing is that uh, you can scroll up the chat to see um, to see past messages. And the thing is, this is kind of restricted to this size only, so it doesn't take up the entire screen. So yeah, you can also change your topic if you want to. So now I've changed my topic as well. Now I can go back to the group screen. Now you can see the calendar page, right? So in gardening, there's already an event that exists on the 28th of July, which is Watermelon Sugar Party, 7 p.m. and 9 p.m. And then you can, yeah, so it essentially is a shared calendar in a way, yeah. So yeah, so now let's go back to the final feature of TrendFound, which is my payments. So yeah, so here is your payments page. So let's say if you owe someone money. So uh, let's look at transactions trans as follows as here. So let's say if you owe Tesla, you know, like form around like $30 more. In the info here. That's 30, right? And you declare payment. Now you see now it changed to $43. Well, let's say they owe you $100 more. And you can see we, the value we added on to the day one here. Yeah. Let's say if you can use it, bab.com, you have paid them uh, $30 back. And you go back to zero. Well, let's say that they have paid you $1,000 back. Yeah, then you go back to zero. So as you can see, this is how your payment track will be tracked. So all you need is your friend's email and the amount, and you can update it accordingly. Yeah, so with that, we come to the end of uh, Transform Milestone 3 walkthrough. So yeah, 